right. Chicago Gabe and Kamui Band. Kamui Band makes perfect sense. We are. Both players focusing before moving. Very control heavy game, so it makes sense. Might make more sense for Severius to move up later, but minor point. I'm going for the early perpetual wind. That is three to eight range. Okay, all attacks. Got information though. And he could potentially research the perpetual wind if he just sits at two figure. That could also be really wasteful depending on what his hand is, though. If he's got sunny stage or if he. Um, Yeah, there we go. Or if he had Song and Dance, he would want to go to zero in either case. Well, if he was planning to react to something, which it's reasonable to expect that he'll be attacked next turn. And leaving one aura is fine. They have Perpetual Wind also, or Icebreaker. The 3 one's always going to go to life, and he probably won't be able to get in range for the 2-1. Well, I guess he could, actually. Yeah, that could be a little bit of a punish. We'll see. So Arius could also just save the uh, cut down to react to the Sunny Stage dash one. It's a guaranteed trade of one life or one life. Instead of having to play into any reactions Purple might have. Okay, this is almost certainly just going to be polite return in his hand, so I really don't like this attack. Probably better to save the flare there. Okay, he's saying go ahead and cancel my polite return. Probably means that Severius won't cancel it. At a guess. It's fine to cancel it. It's probably correct to cancel it. But it does feel like if your opponent wants you to do something, you shouldn't do it. And it definitely 
purple is signaling that he wants Zerarius to cancel this. What? Oh, he misread the attack. Okay. And shaken. Now you have the three one. Straight to life as expected. And discard and vigor to recover there at the end, or move forward, rather. Very even game for the most part. Severius with a slight lead in terms of aura. And information, because no specials have been revealed yet. This is only going to be a 3 2. But it's fine. He slams it, he gets 3 aura damage, and he gets to. Accumulate vigor, vigor in cards off the reshuffle. Silent Wall, it's good for Yorina. I don't think Purple has a good way to back up for Polite Return. Or not Polite Return, to back up for a Glancing Strike. So play here is probably just to accumulate resources, recover and focus. Probably get Perpetual Wind back is, is a good idea too. Not really under any pressure yet. I do this with Vigor though, unless you're planning to play cards also. Ops for Slash. Okay, takes play return out of play. That's pretty good. There you go, he's got it. Well, it looks like a very sad bottom deck glancing strike. Hmm, I don't know about this. Swing rush, probably, but... Oof. Oh, that's so bad. Eating the polite return to life and then the sunny stage to life. Well, knowing it's the last card, you might take this to aura. Still really expensive to do that. Yeah, that's probably better. Hmm. Okay, this is going to be Purple's Lancing Strike, I guess. I don't know why you care about putting it on top now. I guess you don't. 
Yeah, he didn't even put it on top of his deck. There we go. Man, what a Yatsuha gain this would be. <laughs> Wait. Hmm, okay. I respect it. Purple head lethal, but he'd be playing into final stage. Oh wait, no he doesn't, he's not in Resolve, what am I talking about? Man, I am so rusty on that. God, imagine if that condition didn't exist. This would be a lot better. Petrol Wind has not hit a single card yet. Okay, Brandish. That's probably going to Aura. There's not any other major punish that his pair can put out right now. That he can't do already, I guess. And Tsukikage is theoretically on the table here as a follow-up, but again, nothing Tsurias can do about Tsukikage right now anyway. Taking it to life also might let him uh, lethal next turn with his specials. If he got a good draw of Swing Rush or something, he'd be able to do that pretty consistently i think although he has to respect immortal flower even still immortal flower only cancels one attack it's swing, swing rush and rhythmic arc it's already five so yeah we're doing this maneuver again I don't know about that. Outclass beats that, I guess, and that's it. Definitely don't want to slam it or song and dance here. I think he might have Silent Icebreaker too, but then again, I'm not sure if he swapped off of it or not. Silent Icebreaker is a little bit bad if he can lethal. Um, okay, well, if he hits purple without killing him, he loses. I guess without killing him or forcing flower would be more accurate. Even forcing flower is kind of a loss condition at this point. It's got, uh, what, one card? Two cards. Yep, time to do math. So in the Miracle World, the purple doesn't have any reactions you can use here. Resonant Beat takes two aura, puts you at a range four. And Rhythmic Arc takes another three aura, deals one life damage. Swing Rush deals two life damage. Then you have, what, Cut Down and Polite Return for the rest of it. So Lethal is technically an option, but... Mm. Polite Return can beat the two twos. Oh, not anymore. That's better. You can't use the uh, swing rush from there, but I mean you can, but it's pretty sad. Swing rush.
He moves forward rhythmic arc. The 2 2 is going to get cancelled probably by play return. It'll be just 2 aura damage. And 2 aura damage for Severius also. I guess if you're completely sure that your opponent has Polite Return, it is actually better to Rhythmic Arc at range 5. That way the 2-2 two -two goes through. And you do 3 aura damage instead of no aura damage. Oh, no reaction. Oh, is this the upset? Oh, it's the upset! Oh my god! <laughs> Yeah. <sighs>